Here's the real reason why Candace Owens was trending all day Monday. Welcome to Escaping the Echo Chamber. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Monday morning, looked at Twitter, found out quick Candace Owens was trending. Checked later on in the day, Candace Owens still trending. Looked through the 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 feed to find out why she was trending. There was talk about stuff she would said about uh, Donald Trump on the CPAC stage. Now, let me tell you, CPAC was this past weekend. There was Donald Trump spoke on Sunday. Various politicians spoke. Candace Owens was not there, did not speak. So why were after CPAC was Candace Owens trending on Monday? This is interesting. This is really interesting. Because it goes to show you what's really going on here. And why Candace Owens is as popular as she is. So Donald Trump spoke on uh, Sunday afternoon. You know, he spoke about he's not going to be running. Well, he didn't say he was not, not going to be running. He said he wasn't going to be starting a third party. He didn't say he was definitely going to run for president, but he hinted he might. He hinted it might be somebody else. Still, still plenty of time, so we don't know what's going to happen there. The fact that he's not starting a third party is definitely something that the Republicans, I, I guess, are, are, you know, really happy about because that would have been a stupid idea from the from the GOP standpoint and he acknowledged it he acknowledged that if he started a third party it would just split the conservative vote and now the Democrats would just win everything and that's exactly what would happen he did however like put some people on notice that hey you know there's some people though that need to be handled so that's what Donald Trump was talking about so if Donald Trump was talking about that, if Donald Trump spoke at CPAC, why was Candace Owens trending on Monday? Well, she says something about, you know, she supports Donald Trump and and that's not enough for her to trade. Like, of course she supports Donald Trump. She's been supporting Donald Trump. She supported Donald Trump ever since she saw that it's great for her pocketbook. I mean, um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. <laughs> but and not policy wise. <laughs> Personally wise, uh, so she she was trending because I'm looking through the feed and I'm seeing, you know, liberals talking about her just, you know, oh, Candace Owens this, Candace Owens that. And I'm like, why, why is why on Monday morning is there just uh, like a coordinated and it seemed coordinated decision to talk about Candace Owens like like she has. She hasn't done anything over the past, definitely not over the past few days, that warranted constant being talked about. But there's something that happened on CPAC on Sunday. That is the reason why Candace Owens was trending. Before we go into that, I have a quick question for you. Do you know Ron Paul? If you do, then you know that the way the media treated Ron Paul, especially when he was running for president, wasn't to cover him and berate him and talk about how much of a piece of crap he was. Oh, we hate him. No. How they how they handled Ron Paul, Ron Paul because he was gaining popularity. He he was winning straw polls. Like so he came in second place on the Iowa Ames straw poll by like thirty votes. Um they talked about Michelle Bachman winning it. They talked about the person who came at number third three. They came. They talked about everybody. They talked about the, the guy that came in like last place in the Iowa Ames straw poll and media from Fox to MSNBC, CN, CNN, all of them ignored Ron Paul, who came in number two by by like thirty votes. This was so so much of a of a so so obvious of like a coordinated effort within the media that Jon Stewart from The Daily Show, who does not agree with Ron Paul, but recognizes like, boom, this is what this this guy has an ideology. He's been consistent with his ideology. Why is everybody acting like he doesn't exist? Because they didn't want him to be the standard bearer. They didn't want him to get any shine. They didn't want him to they didn't want him to succeed. So in order to stop him, they ignored him because that's what media does. If you take a look at Donald Trump, how did Donald Trump get to be the 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 nominee? He got nonstop coverage. 
Why did he get nonstop coverage? Because they wanted him to be the nominee. Hillary Clinton wanted Donald Trump to be the nominee. It backfired horribly for her, but that's what she'd wanted. Because she felt, oh, Donald Trump is the easiest one for me to beat. There's no chance he can beat me. Oh, yeah, let's just give him tons of coverage. And that's what the media did leading up to the 2016 election. They gave Donald Trump non-stop round the clock coverage they would have the camera on an empty podium where donald trump was going to speak while uh, other people other presidential candidates were speaking but they would just ignore them and just focus on donald trump and guess what happened donald trump won because they realized if they talk about somebody even if they talk about them negatively that pumps that person up they realize if they want to stop somebody and the media's been doing this for a very long time if they want to stop somebody they stop talking about them they pretend they don't exist they ignore them that's what they do with with candidates that's what they do with issues when there's issues they don't want to discuss scandals they just don't talk about it they don't say oh yes we're going to talk about this and it's a lie they just don't want to talk about it this Cuomo scandal you see how long it, it took the media uh, the, 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 the left-wing media to pick it up they were trying to ignore it it wouldn't it wouldn't go away because there was enough people that were that are really pissed off that they lost loved ones and this dude is a absolute lying piece of garbage that eventually they had to cover it but let me tell you why they keep covering can so much because they love her the left wing media loves Candace Owens they want to promote her so why did they really want to promote her on Monday let me tell you what happened at CPAC on Sunday afternoon, just before Donald Trump came on. Just before Donald Trump came on, there was a panel on CPAC, on the CPAC stage. It was a panel of black conservatives. These were black conservatives, and as one person described it, this is a panel of black conservatives that actually like black people. <laughs> and they were talking, not down on black people, they were talking to the conservative audience and to white conservatives telling them how they have failed to to engage black voters they were telling white conservatives what they need to do better to get to help bring in more black voters they weren't talking about black men are lazy they weren't talking about black men uh, just want black women just want welfare checks no they would in fact Sonny Johnson, one of the panelists, said specifically said, I've been telling you black men are capitalists. I've been telling you black men just want to be fathers to their children. I've been telling you black men want to be heads of the household. She laid it down for them, letting them know, listen, stop with the stereotypes, stop with the talking points. Maj Torre, who organized it, brought together several different black conservatives. Um, talking about hey the conservative movement failed to properly engage black voters they haven't been treating black voters like like voters they you, you, like you they've been using stereotypes and as as one of the the panelists said it's oftentimes in who they're sending to do the message and so now a lot of people think that this Candace Owens may have been who she's talking about I think so but she talked about, and I think actually, actually, Candace Owens may kind of been, but Candace Owens, I think, doesn't even fit into the category of uh, of the analogy she used. She used the analogy of Will Smith um, from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Will and Carlton. How Carlton can go into certain areas and talk, you know, Bel-Air, he can, in, in, in these rich areas, where Will would be better suited to go and engage people in in, in the hood, in, in urban areas, in, in, in Philly, Carlton wouldn't really have that level of engagement and wouldn't resonate. So you if you're going to try to engage black voters, you need to make sure you send the right messengers. And hey, this is this is very constructive criticism for white conservatives, not destructive uh you know criticism aimed at black people which is what candace owens does so why was candace owens trending like i said the left loves her 
Why does the left lo love her? Because she alienates black people. Candace Owens speaks down to black people, speaks ill about black people. She everything, every time there's a problem, she's going to blame. The, if, if there's a black person involved, she's going to find some way to put the blame on them. Unless they're a conservative, unless they're part of conservative Inc. And conservative Inc. is the, the, the black conservatives who push the same ridiculous uh, lying stereotypes and talking points that Candace Owens likes to push. And she gets paid well to do it. You know, the the Republican establishment gives her access and and funding and hey, they love her. Meanwhile, uh, when you have people who are pushing actual, you know, solutions and trying to speak to black people like people, they're not getting the shine and the left doesn't want them to get shine. So the left will constantly talk about Candace Owens because the left is trying to make it seem to black voters to black uh, uh, Americans all over the country that that's what a black conservative is so if you think that Candace Owens is representative of conservatism of black conservatives why would you want to be involved you would you'd be like oh no yeah I'm, I'm done with that and that's the uh, the the message that's the image that the left is pushing and is trying desperately to portray and doing a very good job at, of it. Like I said, on Monday, all day Monday, who's trending? Candace Owens. Wasn't at CPAC, didn't have anything to do with CPAC, didn't say anything at CPAC. But meanwhile, you've got a panel of black conservatives who are speaking to white conservatives telling them how they failed the black community. Not how black people are failures and, and just lazy and shiftless. They weren't talking none of that nonsense. They were saying, listen, if you want to engage with the black community, you have to treat, you have to get rid of stereotypes. You have to get rid of talking points. You have to stop acting. You have to stop listening to people who are telling you nonsense about the black community. Black community wants solutions. You have to treat them like human beings, like intelligent thinking rational human beings and deal with them and deal with them on, on, on an equal footing and speak to them like okay like you have sense say hey we have some solutions that would be better suited for your community than the solutions being than the the well, well they're, they're being posted as solutions they're being uh, uh, offered as solutions by the left you know it's they're not solutions they're actually creating more problems but until conservatives actually start engaging with the black community as intelligent, rational beings, that doesn't happen. But you still have Candace Owens talking of nonsense, constantly just berating black people and just basically making a certain segment of the white conservative community feel really good. Because there's a certain segment of the white conservative community that doesn't like black people either. I'm not going to say I don't know the numbers. I don't know if it's it. I'm not going to say it's the majority. I'm not going to say it, 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 it's the overwhelming majority. I don't know that. What I am going to say is there is a segment of there, and they are they will are all too happy to hear uh, Cam Owens bash black people and just demean black people. And every time she does, it's like they get to live vicariously through her because they don't want to say. Sometimes some of them will say this stuff. Some of them don't, are afraid to say this stuff because they don't want to be labeled racist and they're just willing to uh, live vicariously through Candace. But ultimately, it's, it's if you are a white conservative, if you know that, if you just take a look at the numbers and you're like, wait a minute, the numbers aren't, aren't, aren't working. Like we're not, we're, we're, we're getting creamed, especially with black voters. This, we need to do something different. And if you're smart enough to realize, wait a minute, th these messengers that we're, we're pushing, they're trash. They're not, if they're, if they're claiming that they're going to be uh, <laughs> engaging with the black community and getting the numbers up, they have not, they have failed utterly and miserably to do their job. But you also have to ask yourself this question. Why does the left love pushing them? If they, if the left actually believed that Candace Owens was capable of 
attracting black voters, would they be talking about her nonstop 24-7? Absolutely not. So why are they? Why is the left constantly pushing Candace Owens, talking about her, promoting her, and holding her up as the face of black conservatism? Because they know she, she, she's the greatest re recruiting tool for, for Democrats. Like she, she, she does more recruiting for Democrats than any Democrat can. You know, she pushes black people di directly to the Democratic Party because they sure as hell, vast majority, and now I'm going to say the vast majority, the vast majority of black people don't want to be bothered with her nonsense. When she starts talking and just making all kinds of outlandish, baseless and, and ridiculous claims and slanders against black people, she's alienating them. The left knows what she does. They love what she does. That's why they promote her. And that's why you should consider, if you're a conservative, if you're a white conservative, why you, could consi why you should consider not supporting her. Because she's undermining, she's undermining your base. She's undermining your goals. She's doing the job that the leftist, that the left-leaning media wants her to do. Thank you for checking out this video. Um, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.